Can you believe it's actually 2 p.m. outside? Because it's pretty unbelievable how dark it is. And it's snowing. Happy first snow, by the way. But anyway, smack Angelo or Angelo down or smack down was last night and it was awesome. Was it? We're gonna understand now if it was awesome. The show started with Team Bianca being in the ring. No, they were not in the ring. They came out with Becky Lynch's music and all of that kind of stuff. And they were rallying up and all of that kind of stuff. And after that, Bailey came out and she was like, ha 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 ha. Uh, Charlotte and Becky cannot coexist in the same ring at the same time. How are you guys even imagining this? And after that she proposed for two of damage control to take on two of Team Bianca in the main event so they can prove that Charlotte and Becky cannot coexist. And basically the main event was Bailey and Asuka versus Charlotte and Becky and I'm gonna talk about this later. After that a match for the undisputed tag team titles the Judgment Day versus the Street Profits. It's really a shame that Street Profits just rebranded themselves with Bobby Lashley and they just lost. It's it's not that I wanted Judgment Day to lose the titles, it was, it is just the sh a shame that it, they worked so hard to build that shtick up again and they lost. It's just shame. After that, we had a Grayson Waller effect with the returning KO, who actually was Austin Theory in KO clothes, but actually after that the real KO came out and he was like, what the flick is going on? And everyone started talking about LA Knight and KO was like, wait, 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 wait. Am I the only one who knows how the things work around here? If you mention someone name too many times, he comes out and they mentioned LA Knight once again and he came out. And basically after that, we had a match LA Knight and Kevin Owens versus Austin Theory and Grayson Waller. And of course, you know the drill, LA Knight and KO won and I don't know. I think Austin Theory and Grayson Waller are entertaining. I think LA Knight is entertaining. I think KOA is entertaining. I think everything is good up. And I totally forgot that we're not doing that here again. I'm not sorry. After that, we had a Carlito promo that was basically saying some rude stuff about Santos Escobar. And after that, Santos Escobar came out and he said some rude stuff about Carlito. And after that they fought, and after that they fought in the backstage, and after that we understood that Carlito is injured, which is bad, because we also understood that Carlito cannot compete at Survivor Series. Thank you very much, because just before a few hours I made my prediction video, but now Carlito is gonna be replaced with Dragon Lee, which is not that bad, I'm just pissed off about my predictions video. But anyway, I feel like Santos Escobar will win that one, no matter if it's Carlito or Dragon Lee. But I'm happy for Dragon Lee for his opportunity, but I kind of wanted to see Carlito back to the singles action, but anyway. After that, we had a strange one. I'm saying strange one because I feel like I have seen that for Brazilian times. Brawling Brutes versus Pretty Deadly. But it, this time, it was kind of different because Last time we had Brawling Brutes and Pretty Deadly, someone else was in the tag team action as well. And because of all of the chaos, Pete Dunn attacked uh, Fridge the Fridge. Fridge, Fridge, Fridge the Fridge. Anyway, and uh, now Ridge is pissed. And basically, whenever that match happened tonight, Ridge left just left Pete Dunn alone. Pete Dunn was going on a frenzy and he was decimating pretty deadly until just, just they teamed up on him and they beat him. But uh, I don't know what's gonna happen next and I'm kinda excited. I want to see Pete Dunn alone and maybe I'm gonna see Pete Dunn alone and maybe he's gonna take on Rich Holland and he's gonna beat his ass with the bitter end. 
my one of my favorite finishers in the game. After that, the main event, Charlotte Flair, Becky Lynch versus Damage Controls, Bailey and Asuka. And we had a couple backstage segments that were like Shotzi was talking with Charlotte Flair and Bianca was talking with Becky Lynch that they should squash the beef and let bygones be bygones and all of that stuff. And at the start of the match, we thought that they have squashed the beef, but did they? Because at the end, Becky and Charlotte lost and they lost because kind of they were hitting each other without just intending to. For example, Becky was about to win the match, but Charlotte Fair speared the opponent who was about to interrupt the pinfall, but in the attempt to spear, she just interrupted the pinfall herself. And after that, they, were, they started arguing Becky and Charlotte, and all of a sudden, someone pushed Becky into Charlotte and distract roll up and damage control one. And uh, I don't know what's gonna happen now, I kind of want to have a few good moments between Charlotte and Becky, but maybe their team is gonna explode and my prediction is gonna be right, the damage control is gonna win, so yeah. But if I was to rate SmackDown tonight, I would have given it, you wouldn't believe it, 7 out of 10, just saying. Just once again, this is my score. You can score all you want, but seven out of 10 is in my book. It's kind of a, a solid show. I'm kind of disappointed that Carlito is not going to be on Survivor Series and uh, how everything went there. The Brawling Brutes and Pretty Deadly shtick. Maybe they could have done it with some other team. I don't know, but seven out of 10 is my final score. I'm really excited for tonight's Survivor Series and I can't wait to watch it and after that to share with you what I think about these five amazing matches. Let's go! Thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna see you soon. Peace!